everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm using this sketch by Laura Whitaker. It is a old, old sketch that I downloaded several years ago. You might can still find some of her sketches on Pinterest, but I had printed this out several years ago. So this is what I'm using today. And the photo is a photo of my kitty cat laying on a blanket in a pink chair in my house. Now, that orange blanket stays out year round, but it does give off that warm orange tone of fall colors and it makes it perfect for making a fall layout. Now I'm trying to stay as true to the sketch as I can and I'm trying to decide for the background, am I gonna use this beautiful blue paper or this ledger paper? Now, wasn't it too crazy about the blue, but I was willing to step outside my comfort zone and give it a try. So I'm going to put everything behind that, um, you know, as the foundation paper. Um, but then I end up changing my mind, so not to worry. Now that grid paper that I'm putting in the center was from Vicki Booten Paper Pad, and it was seven and a half inches, no, it was seven inches wide. So I just cut it in half and I have a little bit left over. Now these are some stitched circle dies that I have. I was looking for my regular circle dies, couldn't find them. I had to take a break from scrapping so that I could find them. And I am going to cut out two because I don't know if I want to use the peacock paper and you're not gonna be able to tell that is they're peacocks whenever I end up putting it on there. Or if I want this beautiful blue paper. So I cut out both and I can always use either one later on anyway. So I'm going to, you know, just try out both of them. And I like the blue. The blue is fine, but it's a little blah. But I really like the peacock paper behind it. And that's actually going to be like a mat for my photo. I don't end up putting a mat behind it. I leave everything in this photo, I mean, in this video, uh, so that you can see my full process. Because, you know, I know last month, whenever I made the videos, I kind of pre-selected all of the die cuts that I was going to use, and I just placed them um, in the video. But this time around, I didn't have anything that was uh, predetermined. And I want to show you my process and how I went through, well, almost everything. I, did, I don't make it through the whole pile there. I really did have a lot of die cuts there, but I don't even go through all of those. But one thing for sure I wanted is I needed some orange because I wanted to have the orange to go with the blanket as part of the focus. So I'm, of course, all the orange was at the bottom of that stack. So I pull out what I can and there was something that was like a changing point and, you know, I'm like, oh, I can't stand it anymore. So I'm going to switch over to the ledger paper. Much better. Not only is it much better, I'm going to start gluing everything down. I mean, it just looks so much better. Um, I wasn't going to change my mind now. So in the bottom right-hand corner, there is a circle element. Um, they had a, a little banner, and that's where the title goes. And my title is going to go there. So I am using a couple collections, you know, that Vicki Booten had, and uh, which is fine because they don't look exactly the same, but it's close enough where it coordinates well together. Yeah, that circle element that I'm putting in the bottom right hand corner, I think was from her first collection, All the Good Things. And then everything else is from that second collection, which I still don't remember what the name of it is. I know you guys know what it is. So, but it, I'm going to go with this. Um, you know, I'm really liking the way this is going so far. Now, also, I'm putting down that warm uh, fall looking color tag. And then there is a scrap piece of paper that is going to be you know, as a banner, and I'm going to put an orange heart on top of that. And we can put some foam tape behind it because I want a little bit of dimension. And then as for the where the photo is, I'm going to put that peacock circle down. You can't tell that there is any 
you know, stitching. Uh, I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. If you're interested in knowing what company I got that from, I will be glad to, to look that up for you. But, um, but you can't really tell. I use just the regular Sizzix circle dies normally. I'm going to put a couple banners under the photo on the left hand side and a little uh, label. And then I'm pulling out that postcard. Well, first, I'm going to try different things to try to see what I like on the right hand side. But this is the changing point was this postcard. I love that postcard. I love the colors of it. To me, it's very fall. And I was able to use that, you know, as a base to put everything down. Now, the ampersand was actually a die. It came in a set that I got it Tuesday morning. It's the first time I had used it. It's not the same size as the ampersand that is in the uh, sketch, but, you know, it is one. I like ampersands myself. And look, I'm using the leaves. How many leaves did I cut out? A hundred, maybe more. I have the whole season to use them up. I might as well use up as many as I can. I think I end up using like six or seven. But they don't take over. And it gives that fall feel. You know, I don't think that they take over the, the whole page. It really does um, add a fall crispness to this page. Now, I do have some little bitty hearts. Now I have a die and I was thinking that it was from one company. I'm not sure where I got it now. I bought this die years and years and years ago. And it is little bitty hearts and stars and they're all it's all on one die. And I can use the branding strip and cut that out four times and have a variety of sizes of these hearts and stars. Um, and so that's what I did. I took the branding strips that I had trimmed off and I put them in, um, in a little container. <laughs> and I'll probably show that in a future video of, uh, all the hearts and stars that I have. And I'm using the, these are brown alpha stickers. It was from photo play. It was like, a, a school days kind of a, a sticker sheet. Uh, I loved it for the brown uh, alpha because I don't have very many of those. And I end up having to toss it out because I can't make any more words from it. So I'm just glad to be able to have used it. The rest of the stickers is not my style. So I just went ahead and threw it away. I'm not even, it's such a mess. I'm not even going to, you know, pass it on to someone else. Um, so here goes my sequins. You know, I always use the distress collage medium to glue my uh, sequins down. Don't forget to check out the other ladies that are part of the Mini Kit Monday group. I'm going to leave links to their channels below. And then after I put the sequins down, um, I still needed a little something. So I am going to do some splatters using the Vicki Booten art crayons. And the trick here is the smaller the brush, the smaller the splatters. You can't even see them in this video. But when you look at the uh, close-ups, you'll be able to see them just fine. So I want to say thanks, guys, for joining me today. Here's the close-ups, and I will see you next time. Thanks a lot.